Shoppers beware. There's a man approaching people at area stores and malls asking for help for his car and even for money. But police say don't believe it. It's a scam. He's been seen all over the town of Ulster and on Thursday morning in Dutchess County. A man claiming his car broke down and asking for help. But police say he's preying on the generosity of area shoppers, some of whom have stopped to help him and then been scammed out of money. Town of Ulster police have gotten several reports from residents who claim to have been approached by the mail. Uh, he would in turn uh, enter these people's vehicles willingly and then uh, accost them for, for money while he was in their vehicle. Uh, we had several people say he traveled throughout the area. He would uh, have him drive different locations throughout the town of Ulster, city of Kingston, and, and kind of have him drive him around with different excuses and reasons why he needed rides and why he needed money. Police have identified the man who they say is a local resident, but would not release his name. They described him as a tall black male in his mid-40s with a large build and shaved head. They said he often acts alone, but has also been seen with a woman. We've had dealings with him in the past. He, he has, uh, he has, he's done the scam in the past with us. That's how we were able to identify him. Uh, we're attempting to see, like I said, we're attempting to see if we can get enough information. There's enough evidence to support additional criminal charges on him so we can uh, uh, stop this. And while he hasn't physically harmed anyone, police are urging the public to refrain from helping him and instead contact them if they encounter anyone fitting his description. Shoppers, meanwhile, weren't surprised to hear of the scam, but a few were stunned to learn that people have fallen for it. No, to get in a car with a stranger is totally a dumb thing to do. I certainly would not do, and I would not advise anyone else to do it. In the town of Ulster, I'm Paula Mitchell for HVNN.com.